Hey guys, it's Mark with Got Duckless, and today I'm with a Mitsubishi one-way ceiling cassette mini split indoor unit. Now this is a unit that just was introduced in the market just a few years ago. Mitsubishi was the first to release it and a few other manufacturers after that, uh, like Mr. Cool started developing something similar to it. Uh, I know Fujitsu and a couple other large manufacturers will be releasing their version, but Mitsubishi was the first to do it, uh, as they uh, usually are. So um, this one-way ceiling cassette is great uh, because it can be installed within a 16-inch joist. Um, you know, whether it's in the first floor or in the second floor with an attic above. The great thing about this ceiling cassette is that you don't need access from above to service it. So if you're putting it in a first floor, um, and your second floor is obviously right above your first floor. It's, uh, you don't need to have room above it to access it since your connections are accessible from the side panels or from the, uh, the middle here with the filter. Uh, Lick will show you here in a second. So uh, this is a great option if you don't want a wall mounted unit on the wall, whether uh, your wife or um, you know anyone else is just not interested in the aesthetic look of a wall mounted unit on the wall. A ceiling cassette is great because it's hidden, it's flush, practically flush with um, your ceiling and it, uh, it conditions your room um, really well while not ruining the aesthetic of your home. So the one-way ceiling cassette looks great and it conditions the air super well. Now we wanna look what's inside so that you know what to expect. So when you pop open this front panel, you'll see that um, you gain access to the coil from underneath, but what's really important is that you gain access to the filters that filter your air from your return to your supply. So these filters are uh, accessible from the bottom and it, is, it works in a similar way like the wall mounted units where you slide them under a sink and just wash them thoroughly and then you pop them right back into the system and you put them put the back in and you pop the cover back in, pop it in there, and voila, you're back to a normal looking unit. Another thing that I wanted to show you is on both sides, like I mentioned before, all the connections are accessible. So if you need to service it, clean it, make sure the connections are good, you don't have to go tearing open the ceiling to get to the connections. So on the left hand side, actually I just closed this panel, we'll open it back up, and on this left hand side you'll see that you can take this cover completely off. You just have to unscrew one screw here in the center and then you have automatic access to the refrigerator lines and the electrical uh, and condensate connections on uh, that are uh, on both sides of the unit here. Now Mitsubishi comes with an insulated condensate line here that connects uh, in this um, bracket here. You take off this cover and you have the drain connection that can be applied. It can be gravity drain or it can you can use the condensate pump that we discussed. On this side, you have your two refrigerant lines, your liquid and suction um, for uh, 6,000 BTUs, 9,000 and 12,000. It all uses quarter and three eighths refrigerant lines. And then up to the 18, it bumps up to a quarter half inch. So you wanna make sure you have your right refrigerant lines. So when you're installing all this, like we mentioned, everything can be accessible from this panel under heat and underneath here. So once you finish everything with your ceiling, you patch everything, you get your drywall back in place. The only thing you need is to take off this panel to access all these connections. Same thing on this side, you have your electrical box where you're uh, making your communication uh, connections. Um, the indoor unit is always powered by the outdoor unit in uh, single stage residential applications. And so your outdoor unit is getting the main high voltage power and this is where you're connecting your 14.4, 14.3 communication cable um, to power and to communicate um, the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. Uh, but yeah, you would pop this right back in, put the screw back in here, close the panel and voila, you're back to a normal functioning room for easy access for anyone that needs to service the one-way ceiling set. So a few popular questions that we get about the one-way ceiling set are, where can it be located in a room? Where can it be installed? And second is, how does it stack up against wall-mounted units in terms of noise? So the first one we wanna cover is uh, where it can be located. To really understand where it can be located, we wanna understand the anatomy. So you have the lure here, this lever uh, pushes um, conditioned air to the rest of the room in one direction. It, it doesn't go, it doesn't have a full 180 um, 
rotation, it, it really just goes 90 degrees. And you have your return grills here. This is where still air is uh, filtered through and then is conditioned and it goes through the, the louvers here um, to condition the room. So since it is 90, just 90 degree motion, uh, if it's a long room, it's recommended to install it on the far end of the room or you know, on either end so that the conditioned air is able to be pushed across the room. Now, if it's a, a pretty normal, small bedroom, for example, it really doesn't matter um, where it's installed because it is an inverter, it's constantly running, and so it's going to work to condition the space. Um, and so the sensor uh, is in the, in the system, and so as long as the room temperature at large is uh, averaged out, the system's gonna continue to run and uh, provide conditioned air that's comfortable. Uh, one thing I have to mention is that you don't wanna install the system in a pocket um, that's isolated from the entire room. If you have a large, great room that uh, has, it's connected to a kitchen and a dining room, you don't wanna uh, install this as far away from the kitchen as possible in a little pocket. You wanna make sure that it's um, right in the action of where you want it to condition air. And the second uh, question that people ask is how loud is it? And it ranges in decibel uh, points from 27 to 38, which it, compared to a wall mounted unit, the quietest a wall mounted unit can operate is down to 18 decibels. And so the ceiling cassette is a little bit louder. It's in the ceiling and so it might be a little bit further away from your ear, depending how tall you are, but uh, it's not considerably louder considering the highest uh, decibel point that this will go to is 38, and the highest that a wall-mounted unit uh, will go is around the same, 35 to 38. So it's not considerably louder. Um, it is relatively uh, quiet compared to some of the other manufacturers that produce ceiling cassettes. And so it's not only quiet, it also works great for a space um, that can be out of the way, out of, out of sight, out of mind, while you still get, uh, get and enjoy the comfort. So two things to consider before purchasing and installing this one-way ceiling cassette is one, you have to make sure that you have the 16-inch clearance between your joists. A lot of old houses don't have that, and people will come to cut their um, their ceiling open with their drywall or plaster and they realize, oh my gosh, I don't have the clearance I need and then they have to patch all of it up. So the width of this unit, um, you can see the grill here. This grill actually just sits on the drywall or plaster, but the uh, unit itself is 14 and 3 16 wide. Now you obviously don't want to be uh, hammering in the unit into the joist. You want to make sure you have, you know, at least 14 and a half uh, 14 and three quarter inch clearance to make sure that you can install uh, this in between your joists safely so that uh, you don't compromise the system when installing it. The second thing is condensate. The system here is built with a condensate um, built-in pump and so it lifts up 19 inches as a rise of 19 inches and then from there it has to have gravity slope to wherever you plan on draining the, the unit. So uh, if it's being installed in the attic you have a lot of space to work with maybe. Um, you can install the drain pipes to, uh, to go to the exterior. Uh, if it's in a first floor, just keep in mind you have to have enough clearance um, to be able to have enough slope to get to wherever you need to dump that drain. So those are two things to consider. Um, you wanna make sure that those two things are addressed and answered before you go ahead and plan on installing the system. But if you check those two boxes off, it's a great system to have in your home. Price-wise, this one-way ceiling cassette is about double the price of a wall-mounted unit, just because of um, uh, wall-mounted units are far more popular, and so they're being produced at a much larger scale than these one-way ceiling cassettes. Um, so it is more expensive than a typical wall-mounted unit, but you do get to enjoy the, uh, the aesthetic um, results of installing this in your home. This unit, the one-way ceiling cassette, comes in 6,000, 9,000, 12,000, and 18,000. And so if you have any questions as to which size you need, feel free to call us, email us, chat us. The Got Duckless team is just really great at uh, figuring out what size you need, um, depending on the details that you provide. You know, if you just have the square footage, the windows, um, the, you know, if you have any type of knowledge of insulation, all that information would help to help us help you choose a system that's right for you. The last thing that we need to mention is that this one-way ceiling cassette is both a single zone and a multi-zone option. 
Um, if it's a single zone, if you only plan on installing one unit in your room, let's say you have an addition and you want to install this system, you need to make sure that you connect it to a proper uh, outdoor unit that's compatible with this unit. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to call us, email us, chat us, and we can help match up the, uh, the exact outdoor unit that works for you. And if you're trying to um, do a mini split for your entire home and you want to add this, in as one of the indoor solutions. You can mix and match this with other indoor styles like wall mounts, floor mounts, um, any other type of style along with uh, your multi-zone outdoor unit. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, happy to help. So hopefully this video explained the one-way ceiling cassette, some of the benefits, uh, we looked inside to see what you could expect. And it, again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. If you wanna see how it's installed, um, please let us know in the comments or reach out to us. You know, we, we do take your feedback very seriously and we can create a video of how to install it properly, uh, making sure that you have uh, a long-term good solution. So thanks for watching. We hope to see you next time.